Dad tip number Welcome. 77. Don't smoke. That's probably a good tip. What is up, my net? My name is Raito. This is loud. <laughs> Why is it so loud? Yeah, uh, welcome back to Dream Daddy. This might be the last episode because I, I figured I was gonna go on the last day with Matt and I figured that it's gonna give me an ending for the game. So yeah, let's just like jump right into it. I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, Jesus. You know what they say about third dates? They get pretty serious. Are you sure this is your dream daddy? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, should I go on another date with just like someone? Cause, um, I don't know, just to meet people more? Just to see if the other ones are cool too? I don't know, is my Matt my number one dream daddy? Probably not, we don't have a lot in common actually, he's really cool. He's the coolest dad there ever is. Or maybe you like Robert or Joseph is cooler. No, no, they can't be cooler. That's impossible. No one can be cooler than Matt. But I don't know if he's my dream daddy. I can't commit. Alright. Can I just have a um god damn it. Should I just go on another date with someone just to like hang out? Or is Mike gonna get jealous? I don't want him to get jealous. Let's let's just go. And in case I love this game so much, I can always play it again. And I don't think anyone would mind. Right, uh, I'm sure. Let's go. Come on, Matt. Give it to me. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> give, give me that sweet music. That sweet singing voice. I don't know if you have a sweet singing voice. I, I figure you do. Um, because you're so cool. Drink a full glass of water in the morning to help wake up. I'm gonna drink some water actually right now. Before I speak too much. But yeah, I have a standing dust now, by the way. Um, so I'm currently standing. Let's see how long my feet can keep up with this. Man and I have spent a lot of time together lately. <sighs> You're not helping me right now. After we went record shopping for the first time, it sort of became a weekly tradition for us to scope out Final Fantasy VII for new releases. On quieter days, I'll go to the coffee spoon just to hang out with them. Oh really? So you're just like hanging out right now? So you just... yeah. That I'm not seeing. You're just like hanging out regularly. That's cute. He's been trying to get me to branch out from my usual black coffee to try new drinks and they're always delicious. I don't drink black coffee, I drink decaf, kind of half milk. Yeah, I'm always. Since I've been spending so much time with Matt, Carmencita and Amanda have become really close friends. How old was she again? Uh, 10? Something right? Amanda's taking Carmencita under her wing, teaching her about photography, helping her with homework and introducing her to music that's just not bo boy bands. That's not just boy bands. Right, that's my daughter. <laughs> well, she did end up taking her to one of those scream cry dancing boy concerts so Matt wouldn't have to go a truly heroic move. I can tell that Carmesita really looks up to her a lot, so it's great that Amanda's trying to be a good mentor. That's my daughter. I'm proud. The open mic night is tonight. Open mic night, that's what it was called. Uh, Amanda and I busy ourselves getting ready. I try to pick out a nicer outfit than usual and place around the room. What, you cat? Your cat suit? That's amazing. A bunch of really cool bands are going to be playing and I'm excited to see them. I haven't been to a show since the first time Matt and I hung out. How long ago was that? I don't know. It's weird, ever since Matt played piano for me that one time, I've never been able to convince him to do it again. Oh, he told me that he also plays the guitar, drums and even the trumpet. He still won't play any of them. I can play the violin. I'm bad at it. So yeah, for someone so passionate about music, it's strange that he doesn't want to actually play it. I guess bad memories or something? You ready to go, Pop? I can hear Amanda in the hallway as she approaches my room. Yep. Hmm. Amanda pops her head in and looks me over. She pinches the bridge of her nose. Aww. Dad, we talked about this. What? What? Hmm. Sandals. They're older than I am. Do not wear sandals. Are you wearing socks? You better not be. Vintage, someone would argue. Hmm. I thought you threw them out. Amanda, since when do you did you enroll in the Fashion Police Academy? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I got kicked out because I was a loose cannon who didn't play by the rules. Yeah. For example, you're not allowed to mix florals, but you can totally but you totally can if you have a good eye for color, which you probably do because you're a photographer. You're out of your jurisdiction, rookie. Amanda guards the door till I pick out a better outfit, probably for the best. Stop. Those sandals are going directly into the evidence locker. What? Oh. the- It's the trash. You can pry these sandals from my cold dead hands. I pr propose a compromise. Fine, fine. Compromise. I keep the sandals, but won't wear them tonight. Then we have this exact same argument the next time I try to pull them out. Oh. Oh. I guess. Yes. 
Come on, Dad, we gotta go. Oh. Yeah, let's go. I've never seen the coffee spoon so packed. I spot familiar faces from the pop concert, all sipping on their caffeinated beverage of choice. A couple of people are setting up on stage. Nice. I don't see Matt, but I'm sure he's pretty busy in the back. Probably, yeah. Amanda and Carmesita find each other immediately and do their secret handshake. Some complicated clapping with their hands and then a big hug. That's cute. Tail hot. Oh, Hugo's here. A Damien too. Oh, this is great. I turn to see Hugo sitting at a table with none other than Damien. Fancy seeing you two here. Ah. I am, as you know, a dedicated patron of the arts. Hey. I, I do know that. <laughs> It's a bit of a tradition between Damien and I now. Ma Matt's open mic nights always seem to bring out the best talents in town. Huh. Sometimes, sometimes it gets a bit odd, even for my ad admittedly ex- what, That's not eccentric, e eclectic taste. I do not know what that means. <laughs> you guys seen Matt around? Um... Yeah, he was just helping that public kid get some equipment out of his van. What was that, um, by the way? Here we go. Um... Whoa, vacant band was playing outside? Oh. What? It's, um, uh, witch house. <laughs> Damien's a hero spark. What? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> well, it sounds delightful. It does. Amanda says it isn't. Okay. <laughs> Shame. You you're listening as soon as he says, like, witch, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go find Matt and see if he needs any help. Bye. I had to do- oh, nice. Back room. I head to the back room of the coffee spoon where I find Matt going over some last minute show details with Pablo. My dude! <laughs> Here I am again. I am that dude. Pablo and I share a full on sincere bro hug, of course. Glad you could make it, Tailhot. I cannot take my own name seriously. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world, man. You guys need any help? Hey. Um, I think we're all set, actually. Pablo, can you remind me what order people are going up in? Well, you got the handsome and unforgettable Vacant Vale opening up the set with selections from his new album, Witch Diaries. And then the third waves, who are all extremely attractive and could beat me up and I'd still be into it, are playing a three-person acoustic set. Sounds cool. We got a little bit of spoken word in there. A magic act? A, a, a magic act? This just got freaking awesome. And then it looks like we're closing with... Uh, Matt? Jonathan Jones and the Speak Easy Choir. Oh. Come on, Matt. No, absolutely not. I uh, remember the ridiculous set that this band put out when they opened up for- Oh, that's the one. Yeah. When they opened up a pub. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the sound of an accordion being violently thrown against the wall over and over. Oh dear. They weren't that bad. Hmm. No, you don't understand. Last time they played open mic night, they lit their bassist on fire, and the fire marshal had to shut us down. Hmm. They also refused to pay for their drinks. Okay. Jikes. What? They are not playing tonight. Well, they're outside. All 17 of them? What? Hey. Tell them we're full. Then who's filling that spot? Matt! My boy, come on. Hmm. Uh. I'll do it! Oh no. I can't sing. I can't do anything. I mean, I could play the violin. I hate doing it in front of people. Um, but I guess this character can't. I want to see Matt do it, but I don't want to push him. Mother of God, why? What is up with that cock? That is terribly asymmetrical. Why? 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 I'll do it. Oh, he loved that. I'll play. What are you doing? That's a good question. Yes, this is probably going to go horribly. What? What would you even do? Stop talking. Close your mouth. Probably, yeah. The sc Oh, no. <laughs> the Scamminous Manifesto is making a comeback solo show. <laughs> no. I thought you didn't know how to play anymore. You don't know how to play anything anymore. This was a mistake. Should I go back and ask Matt to do it? What? Scar comes to you in the hour when you need it most without fail. Was that was that a trumpet? Well, it just sounded. Stop being so desperate please, <laughs> to please your hot friend, Taylor. Is there a keyboard around? Your end <laughs> unending thirst will be your ultimate downfall. This was probably a mistake, but I kind of want to see how this plays out. Yeah, I have one right here. Nice. Then it's settled. Hmm. Dude, are you sure? No, I'm not. As uh, sure as uh, Scott is generally played with st staccato notes on the upbeat. I don't even know what that means. Uh... Well, as long as nothing gets set on fire, it can't possibly be worse than Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. 
Matt grabs me by the shoulders and stares into my eyes. Oh dear. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Tailhot. I owe you big time. Should I have asked you instead? I don't know. Um, I think you wouldn't have liked that. But I want to see you play. Okay. This this has to be a good ending, though. Like, if Matt doesn't play, I'm gonna be disappointed. So, help me out, bro. <laughs> I settle back into my seat with Amanda and watch the show start. The house is packed now, with a few people even standing outside to watch. What have I gotten myself into? I don't even know. Amanda, I may have made a mistake. Dad, if you bought a brand new pair of those sandals in hopes that I would be okay with you wearing them, I swear to- I agreed to pull out my scarf. No. What is with the trumpet? Stop with the trumpet. Absolutely not. I had to. To help Matt. Dad, I love you and I support you, but we left Scar behind for a reason. Look, it's either this or we're in the splash zone for a group of 20 musicians all crying at the same time for the sake of art. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being hyperbolic about the splash zone thing, they literally hand out ponchos. Somehow, this is the preferable option. Mm -hmm. I just have to play the thing. Play what thing? You don't know how to play any, any instruments. Just, uh, promise me you'll still love me after this. Mm. I promise. Mm. But I may have to change my last name and I hope you'll understand. <laughs> of course, your last name is Dad Rudy, so I'm not surprised. Mm. My new last name is gonna be Fire Blast. <laughs> That's my daughter. Amanda. Mm. Maybe Cold Steel. That's also cool. Yeah. Matt takes the stage to a roar of applause from the crown. It's crown? Crowd. He grabs the mic and addresses us all. Hey. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. Matt's so nervous. And I'm so nervous. I can't stop staring at his mouth, and that makes me even more nervous. We have a jam-packed roster of amazing local talent who you might already know, or maybe have seen before, but would like to see again. And I'm rambling now, sorry. That's totally fine. Aw, Matt. Oh. So, uh, let me just bring on a dear friend of mine who is making his live show de debut. Debut? Debut. Uh, please welcome to the stage, Vacant Vale! Here comes Pablo. Nice. The crowd cheers again and Pablo bounces up to the stage, beaming. He sets up two, his two laptops and a keyboard and launches into his set. Thank you everyone. This one is called Witch House Never Dies and you're next. What? Pablo hits the crowd with a heavy, inaccessible synth bass layered on the drum samples and clips from science fiction shows played in reverse. How would you know that? It's maybe not the right show for this, but everyone seems to be enjoying whatever this is. At the end of the song, Pablo jumps on the mic. Why would you do that? Oh, you, you didn't literally. Ah, I don't get... Uh, yeah. Thank you all to the veil wearers who came out tonight. A portion of the crowd, uh, crowd cheers. I keep saying crown. He has a fan base already? He has a name for the fan base? This is his first live show. Like, th yeah, teach me, dude. You can buy t-shirts uh, out of the trunk of my car after the show. Also, I'd like to thank my mom for coming out to watch me play. You're my rock, ma! Lo <laughs> Love you, honey! That's beautiful. Pablo plays a few more songs that are actually super fun to listen to. Well, definitely did not see that coming, especially after Amanda's strongly worded thoughts about the genre. Hmm. Once he's done, he vacates the stage and Matt shows back up again. Oh. Big round of applause for our very own Pablo, who coincidentally works here. Jay Pablo. Yay! Hmm. And hey, uh... Next up are a group of young ladies who have been tearing up the East Coast with Riot Punk for three tiers now. Um. Tears? Years, yeah. Years, I meant years. Three years. Sorry, the writing on my hand is smudged because I'm sweating. Oh, come on, dude. I shouldn't have told you I'm um, all I'm sweating. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, wow, he seems just as visibly nervous as I feel right now. That would probably explain why he doesn't like, like playing stuff on stage. Like I do. Hey. I mean, I, I don't like it either. Yeah. Put your hands together for the third waves. Yay! Oh, Buscat Molly. <laughs> Buscat Molly from Vinyl Fantasy VII takes the stage, followed by two girls with colorful hair and fishnet stockings. All of them are wearing combat boots, and all of them look mad about something. <laughs> oh, hi, Amanda. <laughs> Their set is so energetic that it almost seems like a pit is gonna open up in the coffee shop. I look over to Amanda, who's clearly enjoying the hell out of this anarchic female-fronted punk rock. Mm. Dad, can I get a lip ring? Sure, if you pay for it yourself. Dad. Come on, it's no fun if it's not an act of youthful rebellion. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
After the third wave closed out their set, a variety of acts play to the delight and sometimes horror of the crowd. The magician tries to turn a cup of coffee into a cup of coins, but ends up just spilling hard coffee all over himself and dropping the coins. Oh no! Is he okay? I feel I feel bad now. As each act leaves the stage, I get more and more nervous. There are so many people here! I don't know anything about how to play the piano other than it has keys and you have to touch the keys to make sounds. Also, I almost spilled the flat white stripes in my hand because it's trembling so much, so I suppose that's the drink then. No joke, Dad, I'm booting for you. You're gonna knock him dead. Thanks, Manda Panda. An improv comedy group takes the stage. They take suggestions from the crowd and end up doing a scene that was supposed to be about coffee, but instead turns into five minutes of dick jokes. Classic. I have a hard time laughing. My stomach is tying itself into knots. Not just regular knots either. Like the kind of knots you get when you throw your phone charger, your headphones, and a laptop charger into the same bad. Oh. Bad? Bag. Blah. Out of nowhere, Matt sits down next to me. Oh. Hey, are you doing okay? No. I'm totally fine. Everything is great. Nothing is wrong. Um, uh, nothing is wrong. I want to reassure him that I'm okay, but I just can't get the words out. I'm here? Hey. Alright, just making sure. I know you're gonna do great, Taylor. I'm not. I'm <laughs> really not. Matt squeezes my shoulder and jogs back up to the stage. Oh, Everybody, we're down to the last act of the night. Oh no. It's my turn. No! Now this person, who is my friend, is making their return to the stage after a long hiatus. Please welcome, formerly of the Scamionist Manifesto, Tailhot Dadaroni. <laughs> this is gonna go horribly. Everyone- Oh no, the music disappeared, that's not good. Everyone cheers as they take the stage. Damien and Hugo are staring at me in shock. <laughs> yes, you probably should be doing that. Uh, hey everybody, good to be here. Thanks for having me on, great crowd. Uh, my name is Title Hot, but you can call me by my stage name. No. Frankie Two Tone, Fire Iron Fully, Thomas Kalnoki. All of these are terrible. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Should I have asked Matt to do stuff instead? I don't think he would have agreed though. Uh, Fire Iron Fully, let's see how that works. <laughs> Someone like that from the side. The crowd claps politely. <laughs> Thank you. I sit down at the piano. That's a lot of keys. That's so many keys. Do pianos usually have this many keys? Probably. If it's a keyboard, a piano usually have more keys than a keyboard. God, these lights are really bright. Someone coughs. I guess, uh... I guess that's some good stage banter. And now I have to play a song. This is this song is called Beam Me Up. Scotty. God damn it. Is it... F you, you're a dad. You have to make puns, right? Deep breath. How hard can it be? I regret this more and more. Oh no. Oh no. This is a mini game. Oh no. No matter how disastrous this is, I just have to make it through this entire song and I'll save the day. Here goes nothing. What? That ivory. What does that mean? What, what am I gonna do? Please sing along. Pick it up. What? Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. What? What? Singing that sky. What? What am I doing? What just fill up the room? I'm, I, I, I'm clicking everything. Why? Why is nothing happening? If they don't skank tonight, ah! <laughs> It'll be alarming. I. Why? Nothing is happening. Everybody ska? Beam me up sk Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm trying. I'm clicking everything. You can probably hear. Beam me up this is a Scar Trek Enterprise. I'm trying everything. It says beautiful. I disagree. Piano solo. I'm trying. Nothing is happening. How do I play this? I'm clicking everything that is in my goddamn mouse. There's nothing happening. Oh. Oh. Oh, can I do that again? I'm so sorry. That was horrible. Doing your best deserves an S. Is an S a good thing? Can I do that again? I want to do that again. Okay. Uh, so I used my keyboard for this. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, Jesus. This is horrible. What? What am I doing? 
I, I'm just pressing everything. If you don't skank tonight, it'll be alarming. Is that a cat in the background? Beat me up to the Scotch Egg Enterprise. Is, this a, is there a way to do this in the right way? I don't think so. Piano solo! There's a cat. There's a dog as well. That's probably a bad sign. Piano solo. Bravo. Someone clapped. No, I don't think... Is there a way to do this in the right way? I don't think there is. Can I get another one? Doing your best to serve someone else. I don't think I can do that better. To be honest. Oh no. This is bad. Um, I look up at the crowd. I see a bunch of people shifting in their seats. Oh no, I'm losing them. This is bad. Scar really is dead. And I killed it. Everybody's gone? No. Oh. Everybody's gone. Oh, come on, Matt. Like a checkerboard tie wearing angel descending from the two tone habit. What checkerboard tie wearing? He's not wearing a tie. Matt walks on stage playing the guitar. We lock eyes and he gives me a reassuring smile as he effortlessly plays the chord to the song. Are there any chords to the song? I just mashed everything. I look out to see the crowd go wild to Matt's appearance on stage. Everyone's bouncing around now. It fills me with renewed energy as I, we, jump into the chorus. Hey. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, sounds great. Beam me up. That's not the lyrics, bro. Beam me up, Scotty, to the Scott Trek Enterprise. I would sing, but I don't know how the song goes. Oh. Matt jumps into an improvised solo that was way better than the one Darren Springstead wrote in high school. Oh. But you make it to the end of the song in one piece and the crowd goes wild. I'm moist with sweat. Don't, don't say moist. Head to toe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Seller. The crowd practically screams. They all start chanting Matt's name. You deserve it, bro. I do not deserve it. They want to hear you play, man. Oh. Matt smiles. Okay. I... I think I'm ready. Oh. I excuse myself from the stage and take my seat next to Amanda as Matt coaches up to the microphone. I take ba back what I said about Scar. That was pretty cool. I high-five Amanda and we look towards the stage. Oh. Hey, everybody. More cheers. And the music is back. That's great. I haven't played in front of people in a long time, but it's cool to be back. Hey, yeah. This one goes out to a good friend. Matt looks like this with me. We both smiled. This is adorable. He helped me to be able to do this again. Oh, I didn't really do much. Thank you. Hey. Oh. This is an old one from stillness to dancing. The entire crowd excitedly jumps to their feet. Matt closes his eyes and starts playing an upbeat, intricate melody. The crowd sways to the music. Oh. This is great! Matt looks entirely at peace with a small smile on his face as he sings. After he finishes his song, the crowd insists on an encore. He ends up playing a few more tunes to an adoring audience before thanking everyone for coming out. The moment he steps off stage, he gives some mob to buy people. What? Everyone seems to be amazed that he's playing again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Damien and Hugo tread their way through the crowd to talk to me. Ah. That was amazing. Not my part. Ah. <laughs> It was certainly a sight. Do they make industrial dark wave scar? I have no idea. I'm not too sure if that genre exists, but it's never too late to start a band, apparently. I glance back over at Matt, who's hugging a bunch of people. <laughs> they seem really excited to see him play. Oh. Well, yeah, he hasn't played since he lost Rosa. Oh. What? You didn't realize that? I, I realized that. Ah. I didn't realize. I did. It suddenly make, all makes sense why Matt was so reluctant to play. It must have taken so much for him to jump up on stage with me just now. The crowd slowly filters out into the street as the show ends. I decide to stick around a little longer to see if I can talk to Matt. Mm. Hey, I'm taking Carmesita to get ice cream. Is it okay if she sleeps over? We're gonna paint our nails and start a punk band. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, go have fun. Just please don't wake up the neighbors with any biting truths about the government or whatever. Biting truths? Biting truths. Not any truths that are biting. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Don't worry, we'll wake them up figuratively instead. <laughs> okay. Uh, Amanda and Carmesita bump fist and head out. I spot Matt finishing up conversations with a couple of stragglers on the way out of the coffee shop. Hey, Matt! Hey, hey dude! Nice. Need any help closing up? Hey. Yeah, sounds great. I love that. Oh. Matt and I stack up chairs and sweep the floor in silence. We carry the stage equipment back to Matt's van, where we see Pablo selling merch to a crowd of people out in the store. Wow, he really is popular! 
Shirts of the finest quality. Every step of production from thread to stitch overseen by yours truly. I doubt that. Graphic design's fit for a king. That kid's gonna go far. He, he definitely is. He's probably gonna go farther than me. <laughs> We head back into the coffee spoon, and Matt puts the finishing touches on closing. When we're all done, Matt and I lean up against the counter. Thanks for saving me from myself up there. Hey. All in all, it ended up being pretty cute. Oh no. No! Do not flatter me! I'm, I'm done! I'm on the floor! Bye! Uh. Plus, you protected us from Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. Someone told me that they tried to do a street performance down the road, and they all got arrested for trying to form a human pyramid in traffic. Yikes. Did it feel good to be on stage again? Oh. Hey. Yeah, it really did. I, uh... I heard that you stopped playing after your wife died. I didn't realize it had been that long. Uh... uh yeah. Uh. Matt looks like he wants to say something, but he's having a hard time getting it out. Uh, hey. He takes a deep breath. I'm not really a people person, but obviously. You're really cool though. <laughs> like, you're more of a people person than I am. Or I guess you don't like people? Like, you don't... Yeah. You're not the kind of social person. I'm kind of the... I like being social, but I, I struggle with it. So we're kind of the opposite. That's great. <laughs> Crowds make me nervous as all hell. Which is um, not exactly the best for performing live music. I mean, I get nervous if I'm gonna perform stuff too, but yeah. But when I was with Rosa, she lit up the room. I could follow her lead. After she passed, I was lost. Even touching a guitar hurt too much. Oh. I tried pay playing for people over and over, but the music would never come out, so I just gave up. So I guess I became your Rosa then, I guess. I just, I took the lead. I did it horribly, but I kind of invited you to come up and do stuff, I guess. That was pretty great! I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, life wasn't this scary when I had someone in my corner. Someone I felt safe with. I'm gonna be that corner! I, I'm gonna be that corner, I'm gonna be in your corner! I'm gonna be in that corner, and I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna be the most supportive corner you've ever had. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know. I, um, hadn't felt like that for a long time. Hmm. Until tonight. What changed? Um... Me, I guess? I mean, I shouldn't say that, but yeah, you. Here we are. Blood rushes to my face. <laughs> when I saw you looking so scared on stage, you reminded me of myself. And I don't want anyone else to have to feel that bad. What, ha what would have happened if I told him that he could do it? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't, but I'm just curious of what would have happened. But when I got up there and started playing, for the first time in forever, I felt comfortable. I was having fun. I had spent all this time being so afraid of performing that I'd forgot how much I loved it. Hey. Your strength gave me strength. Whether you were trying to or not, you got me out of my comfort zone. So, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for helping me realize that I can do this. Oh, are you crying? Oh no. I'm glad I could help. You coming on stage, I don't think you would stick your neck out for me like that. Especially considering all of this. That really means a lot to me. Uh -huh. Well... You mean a lot to me. Oh, this is too adorable. I can't do this. Man, I like eyes. Oh, no. He leans in and kisses me quick and soft. He pulls away and covers his mouth. Ah, this is adorable. Ah. Oh. But personally, have we established that we're like dating? Um, because right now it's just we've never established that we're going on dates. We've never established that we're interested in each other. We just friends. But I guess. I don't know. I, I don't have any complaints really. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I uh, Sorry, I can't just- I can't believe I just did that. Okay, so that wasn't really planned. <laughs> god damn it, you're too cute. Neither can I, but uh, I'm glad you did. <laughs> ah! Our lips touch again. I brush his hair out of the way and rest my hand on the small of his back. I feel like I'm reading fan fiction. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, okay. This is getting too graphic for me. <laughs> Alright. Matt pulls me closer. Everything about him is sweet and soft. His lips, his lips taste like vanilla. He smells like coffee cake. I can feel him smile through the kiss, which makes me smile. He laughs into my mouth, and I can't help but to laugh too, our teeth knocking <laughs> against each other. 
I am lightly uncomfortable right now. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, bro. The moment I opened my eyes, I realized we're still leaning against the espresso machine. Maybe the coffee shop isn't the right place for this. Oh, oh no, what's gonna happen? Maybe you're right. Let's go back to my place. Oh dear. <laughs> what's gonna happen? I don't think I'm prepared for this. Oh, okay, they complete. Nice. That's not real cool. <laughs> a little bit of witch house, that's always good. Daddy points. Never underestimate the power of a dream, daddy. <laughs> Was that Matt? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. King of carrot flowers. Yes, I did it. Oh, keep your word. Ah, oh, that was lovely. <laughs> All right, I don't think the game is over just yet. I have the Amanda thing going on too. Okay, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> We're lifting weights. Oh, huh. I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. What? I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Okay, completely natural. Be cool, Taylor. Be cool. Amanda walks in through the door with a suspicious look on her face. She already knows. I don't know what's going on, but she already knows. Hey, Dad. Now off to a good start. Mm. Something fishy? Rats. What? No. You asked me too many questions. Sorry, sweetie. It's the fans. That life of crime is ca finally catching up to you. I try to send them in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the US government. Ugh. Well, if they think they're gonna take me alive, they got another thing coming. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're right, I have a little surprise for you. Ugh. Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. I am. <laughs> Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Ah. Father, it would fill my heart with glee. Okay. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week- oh really? Wow. And I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. No way! I figure you probably won't be able to get a cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. What? A DVD box set of long-haul paranormal ice road ghost records? This is all 19 seasons? What is even happening? And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. What? <laughs> Dad, I love this. Thank you. Aw, you're welcome. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you wanna hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pig skin or something? I assume that's a ball. Ah. Totally. I follow Amanda to the back door. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! I did not expect that. What? You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduating mission party. <laughs> Surprise! Dad, everyone's here! Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Hey. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable. Down to the type of mac. What? <laughs> and there's an ice cream cake. The good kind with the crunches in the middle. I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, alright? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. And everyone's here! Ah, uh, I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. You got your priorities set straight, my man. Oh. No, Pablo! Tell you lot! My dude! My dude, Pablo! Pablo! How's the shirt business going? You- do you want- do you want your own shirt? Do you, you should buy your own shirt. You need a better shirt. My bud, I got men's shirt, I got women's shirt, I got tank tops in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. Each one of them of fine quality, screen printed with a lo logo and visage of world-renowned witch house outfit, Vacant Veil. Purchasable at the most respectable retailers, but more specifically, at the truck of my car. I'm also selling my mom's world-famous homemade apple butter. Apple butter? Never stop hustling, Paula. Baby, you got it. <laughs> okay. Tail hot. Yeah, you are. Hi, Brian. Brian, you made it. <laughs> huh. I don't pass up on good Mac. Nice. What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Uh, just not bad. Ah. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Amanda's dad. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Brian's daughter. 
See? See how that feels. This is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. You're very welcome. Tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. <laughs> she didn't learn it from her father, did she? Brian and I look guys. This isn't over. Are you gonna- can you stop one-upping each other? I guess if I dated him, I just, the entire relationship would just be trying to one-up each other. Hey bro! Nice. That, that's the second most cool dude in this place. Bro! This is a real rager. Taking her older age into consideration. You don't look so old. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Bro. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye out on your fruit punch intake. Nice. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. We have never hung out, apart from the time we were in the, uh, the, the gym. Yeah. Let's hit the gym sometime soon, huh? Sure thing, dude. Ryo and Hazel peek up behind Craig. Oh, that's your daughters. Have, you, have I met you? You had twins. That's what I remember. <laughs> Hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all the ice cream cake. Hmm. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Do not, do not look of the... Do not tell them how much ice cream cake they can eat, alright? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. I have your face. No one will ever believe you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'll uh, let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, real. Yeah? Hey. Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us. Yeah. Looks like you've settled in into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cold sack. Oh. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We got a big schedule plan for the rest of the year. I'm not religious, but sure. If you're there, sure. Sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could uh, hang out sometime. Oh, should I have hung out with you? I mean, you're cool. So I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to give up on that. Yeah. Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. Well, see you later. Hugo come up, up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Oh. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. <laughs> Beautiful work, Taylor. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for her finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. I guess it's the good Amanda ending then. I don't know what, what I could have done to make a bad Amanda ending, but yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Amanda walks by and pretends not to see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey, uh... Congratulations on graduating. I know you're gonna do great things at art school. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. She isn't even looking at him. Amanda starts to back away. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. Hey. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, he's blushing. Wow. Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for baking my globe? Nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. So. She'll fit into college just fine. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, Robert. You're the... What would you... You're the third most cool dude in this place. The, everyone has a cool ranking, alright? Matt is at the top. And I'm pretty sure I'm at the bottom. But I might be... Just slowly working my way up because I'm dating Matt. Hey. Hey. I don't know. Who? Oh? Robert gestures vaguely to the stack table. Oh. Good stuff. Yep. <laughs> huh? See you later. Oh. What? Talk to him more, come on! What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for in extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. <laughs> God damn it, Damien. You're the fourth most cool dude in this place. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. I stare at Lucian. He knows. I know. But I'm a man of my word. The story of his Oregon betrayal will go unsung. Thanks for coming by. I spot Amanda and Carmesita in a corner of the party. I wonder what they're up to. As I walk up, I can tell that they're already in deep in conversation. Listen, it's like prison rules. First day of high school, you gotta establish yourself at the top of the pecking order. <laughs> really? What kind of high school did you go to? Really? No, just find a group of people that you like and then hang out with them. I can't even do that. Be yourself. Don't worry about being cool. You'll find friends. Mm. 
And try not to kiss anyone who also has braces. <laughs> you get stuck, kiddo. <laughs> hey guys! Hey, Amanda's dad! Carmesita here is getting ready for high school. Got any advice? When you join band, pick the easiest in instrument to carry. I'm still walking a little sideways from my sousaphone days. Hmm. Yes. Flute it is. Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. Carmesita, me and Amanda still out for dinner with you and your pops tomorrow. Isn't Matt here? Yes! We're already planning a carry cave for you guys. Huh. I better keep making rounds. I leave the two of them to keep conspiring. Oh, now the, <laughs> the sun just set. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Where's Matt? Come on. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So... I, uh... I also have something for you. Oh, what is it? What is it? I'm excited. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but that's my daughter. Ah. Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Aww. Thank you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's... There's been times in my life where you were my only friend. Oh. Mm. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that... Everything you've done to me has been to prepare me for this. And I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry. I swear to God, Taylor, if you cry again... You're the best, Dad. Love you. Oh, And I'm crying. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> yes. Let's just cry in a corner together. Present time! Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find... This is the sandals? No, <laughs> a framed picture of me and Amanda. It's... oh, it's... Hmm. Kinda shocking all our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we need at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. <laughs> Always do. <laughs> Amanda and I share a hug. This is adorable. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Ugh. That sounds like me. World's best dad. I got a good ending. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. Oh, here comes Matt. I glance over to the back of my yard where Matt is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emma's are gonna go get ice cream. Are you friends with them again? That's cool. You. Love you, Pops. Uh, wait, what exactly happened? I wanna know. Why Why didn't they like you? They spill the details, come on. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> I take a seat next to Matt uh, as the last guest makes their way out of the party. Uh, this is a beautiful backyard, dude. Hey. Seems like Amanda really enjoyed this. Thanks for putting together such a nice surprise. Carmesita's middle school graduation is coming up in a year or two. I'm sure for the right fee I could put something together. <laughs> Only if I get to DJ. <laughs> oh, of course. Matt looks down at his hands. It seems like he's doing that whenever he's trying to figure out the right thing to say. Oh, hey. I just wanted to say that, uh... Oh, man. Ah, gosh, this is gonna come up dumb no matter how I say it. So, here it goes. Okay, so <laughs> we're two people who can't speak properly. That's great. Hey. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. Whoa. Oh, man. You... You brought the best of me. And it wasn't just because of the scar. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't it just because of that? Okay. Although, that was really cute. Don't call me cute! I, I'm gonna sink into the floor and I'm just gonna be... Yeah. <laughs> hey. Every moment that we've gotten to spend together since we've met has been an adventure and I just... I hope that we get to keep doing that. We make a pretty good team, you know? I mean, I'll let you handle the music playing. And the music singing, and actually pretty much everything related to music. But I can organize a party pretty well. I'm also good at kissing, so that's a big plus. Uh, yeah, sure. That's true. You are very nice to kiss. I feel awkward. I feel like I'm the third party here. The third wheel. I slide my arm around Matt and run my fingers through his hair. I think that would be kind of difficult. Uh, giving him a small kiss on the cheek, he giggles. See? That was a good one. And hey, 
I've actually been working on some new stuff. It feels really great to be writing again. Oh man, Matt, that's amazing. I'd love to listen to it sometime. If, uh, I mean, if you were comfortable sharing it with me. Maybe I could show you some new tunes I'm working on in the studio later. You know I'm gonna insist that we add a horn section. Oh, Matt rests his head on my shoulder and sighs happily. <laughs> you know what? I'd actually like that. Oh my god, this is so great! This is adorable! Oh, there comes the... Oh, it was, it was, yeah, that's the end of the game. I can't even speak properly. Oh, that was lovely. Oh. Thank you. That was lovely. Um, I don't even know what to say. Uh, voice credits. It's not like they have much to say, but yeah, still. Quizmaster Quinn. I have no idea what that is. Uh, why is that ahead of Robert? I don't even know. Uh, story consultants. Do I, can I? Oh, I can skip this. Sorry. If you want to see, you can just pause. Uh, whoa. Whoa, look at all the mini games. This is not- oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, Playtester, special thanks. And all of our dads. A game from the Game Grumps. I don't watch the Game Grumps, but thank you Game Grumps! Uh, and daddy. The music is lovely by the way. Oh, here comes the photo! Oh my god, oh my god. I can't take that, that is amazing. But why, why are you not wearing a shirt though? I just, I'm not complaining, but why? <laughs> oh, okay, is that gonna go into my gallery? I, w I was curious about what goes into the gallery. Oh, spend less money than you make. That's a good tip. Uh, Dream Daddy, is it in my gallery? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I don't need to look at that, thank you. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is probably the end of the series, but I, I don't know, I might revisit it sometime, if I'm bored. Uh, or if people want me to, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that worked out. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. So, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, comment on what you liked, what you didn't like, be constructive. Please suggest more stuff for me to play. I'm kind of running out of things. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll make up something, but it never hurts with suggestions. And subscribe for weekly videos, I try to upload every Friday when I'm not busy. And stay fair and stay awesome. Answer Snuggles says boop. <laughs>